I think just communicating really well on the defensive end. Um, we've had a good couple of days of prep, so we, we kind of knew their plays pretty well. Um, and our switches, we were kind of on point with that. We'd switch to deny, and they just didn't get really good, any good open looks. And so I think that we just, you know, like I said, talked really, really well. We had a lot of energy, and we just um, we really took pride in our defense today. Mm-hmm. I mean, going into the game, we had to execute the game plan. There's sometimes where we have flex, and we went in, and I think we did an excellent job on coffee. I mean, we were switching, so even guards were guarding her, and she was still having a tough time, which made every shot tough, so that's what we needed from it. You guys have had, you know, maybe three minutes of performance like that for a quarter, a half, so mm -hmm. far this season, but, I mean, what was it about this game you guys really picked it up through all four quarters? Um, like, I was, like I've said before, you know, just that momentum. We, we played at Rutgers. We had that win, and I think we just wanted to keep building off that momentum because we are playing for something, and uh, we have to, you know, keep winning, obviously, to get that NCAA tournament bid, you know, to get a good buy or to get a buy in the um, Big Ten tournament. So we are playing for something, and we just um, came out today, and we were really well prepared. Um, like Jen was saying, you know, we, we executed the game plan really well, and uh, we didn't really give them a lot of second chance opportunities. And even when we did, um, we didn't give them any good open looks after that. So I thought, you know, the post did really well. And I thought the guards also did really well communicating and just going to the boards. You mentioned kind of knowing their game plan pretty well, knowing their plays. How much of that was just from mentally remembering, you know, the game in January, individual matchups and all that? I mean, when we watched film this week, we all knew that we've seen the plays before. And they run some that we've seen all year long, so we knew. And then our coaches got us really prepared of how we were going to guard each play, and that's what we spent the last two days working on. As good as the defense was, you guys were only up nine at halftime. Mm -hmm. What were you kind of, were you kind of thinking that the lead should have been bigger at that point, or what did you kind of feel going into the break? Yeah, a little bit. Uh, coach came in and she reminded us that we, uh, you know, we missed ten first half, uh, you know, bunnies, open lay like layups that we should normally always make. And, uh, you know, she said the second half, those were going to fall. We just had to keep attacking, you know, not let that get to us. And I think um, the guards did a really good job of attacking and getting into the paint. And that opened up our um, posts and kickouts. So um, we just kept attacking. We didn't let that get to us. And uh, um, we kept going up strong. How important was it to just have that run to start the third quarter and sort of put them on their heels? Coming out of half, you always the first four minutes is always what Coach says is the most important because it can go either way. Um, basketball is a game of runs, and we knew that we had to be the ones that still came out and still had that momentum and made the lead bigger. Especially how big was it for Amanda to get going? I think she didn't score in the first half and then kind of went nuts there in the third quarter. Yeah, that was that was big for her. Um, you know, I, I remember specifically telling her at halftime, you know, those shots are going to fall. Um, she can't get shy. Not, you know, Amanda's a scorer, and uh, she also is our um, energy. She gives a lot of energy, so uh, she did a really good job of, um, you know, still shooting the ball and not hesitating. I think uh, a couple times the first half she might have hesitated a little bit, and she didn't get any foul calls down low. She might have got hit um, whenever she missed her layups. But, uh, you know, it was big for her to get going in the third quarter, and I think that helped our team.